don't get this video to 1000 likes or do get this video to 1000 likes. The choice is yours. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'll be buying the Pippo plushie, which comes with a redeemable code for a limited time Pippo skin, which I'll be giving away to you guys. The plushie is $30 plus shipping, which is quite expensive for a YouTuber who is not monetized yet. Yes, my channel with a million views has not earned a single cent. But if you guys get this video to 1000 likes, I will be buying the plushie. And everyone who likes the video will get a chance of getting the animated Pippo skin. The plushie goes off sale in one week. And as a celebration of the Pippo plushie, I'll be doing a PvP video with the Pippo plushie codes. The first code for selling 200 plushies is Pippo plus reward, which gives you a Pippo with 4 moves it can't normally learn. These unique moves are Pirouette, which does 40 damage no matter what, Patchwork, which drastically lowers the opponent's speed, Pearl Stitch, which is like a multi-hit basic type attack, and it's also got Scapegoat. These moves are all unique, a normal Pippo can't learn this, so I'm going to try and use all these moves in PvP and see if they're actually good. And I'm also going to awaken it, because why the heck not? And the second code is Pippo plush reward 2. This one gives you an antenna flight with unique moves. This antenna flight is kind of broken. It's got quick thinking for setup, it's got taser which can paralyze the opposing doodle, it's got dark blast which is an 80 base power magical attack move but it's pretty freaking strong and it's also got vine grass which is an 85 base power grass type move. So antenna flight's now got dark coverage and grass coverage. And we're going to see if it's any good. It's also got a determination jelly that can survive one hit and do a setup move. And we're also going to be playing the new ranked mode. I'm currently bronze because I've only played four games. Actually three games, I never knew that. So the stakes are high. Before we start, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. Now let's give our doodles some skins and get into the first battle. Okay, going into the first battle, we're against a Humbiscus, which is kind of threatening. No melee type users, so that's good. Our Grotto can stay alive here. They will go for Alimindra lead, I assume. So I'll go for... Oh, I'll actually go for Thornet. I'm going for a Incinalisk lead. I believe they do have Piercing Ice. That's what I think they have. But if I get Espresso, they're dead. So that's, that's a win for me. They actually switch out into the Toad. Magma Toad. Fair enough. And that puts them in a really good position here. And I really don't have anything for Magma Toad. I'm not going to lie. This is really bad. I'm just going to have to risk it and go for uh, Bloody Humbiscus here. That's a really good play by me, actually. Because now I can win cheer and do tons of damage to it. And I one-shot it. That is actually huge by me. This is a gold player. I'm in bronze. How am I against a gold player right now? This guy is so mad right now that that guy just died. Okay, now we switch definitely. I believe it's got a water type move, which is unfortunate. So I can't really switch into Incinalisk or my monkey. But I kind of have to at the same time. So we're going to our monkey because that's the tankiest thing we've got. I assume a water type move will come out. Lingering poison actually. Okay, do I have a poison type? The answer to that is no. So rip. That is really unfortunate. And I do expect the Abyssin to come out. So we're going to risk it, go on Tenor Flight here. I can't actually die this turn. Actually, I could die. Uh, let's do switch into Humbiscus, actually. Interesting. I did not expect that. Also, I die to Windshear here, so... I've got to switch out. Go into my Ripped Events, because I've actually got a trait. Oh, I've got Cure to Poison. That's actually really good. I've actually got a trait where if I get hit by an Air-type move, then I get a Speed Boost. Like, it doubles my speed, basically. Windshear did nothing to me, actually. That's really good. Okay, Speed greatly boosted. That's really good. I think I add speed now. Let me just double check. So I get to 164 speed. What's my Humbiscus? Okay, I actually don't have speed. But Windshear doesn't do much to me anyways. We go for a Wing Slash here. We're going to a Cerebropod, I believe. Yep. And that does nothing, so that's great. And it's got Spiky Thorns. Okay, this is really bad, actually. I can't Shock Therapy because it's got a Mind-type move. And I really wish I had a Poison-type right now, but I just don't. That's really unfortunate. Next to battle, I'll switch into a Poison-type. Tainted Water, I did predict my switch out. Because I had nothing else to switch into. I do want to click Nutrient Drain, but also I do want fat damage right now. Because I do die next turn, otherwise. I do switch out, actually. I refresh some health into Abyssins. Okay, that's an L. That's really bad for me. This one can do so much damage to everyone, though. That's the one thing that sucks. I think we have to have a tank with Grodo. <laughs> Grodo, do something good here. I know your moves suck right now, but please. I'm begging you. I use Toughen. Okay, I'm pretty sure all it's got is a light time move, water time move, stuff like that. So we're going to Awaken in case it uses a water type move. And we're going for a Scapegoat. Or a Patchwork. I feel like Patchwork's actually better here. If we get a Patchwork off and then switch into an Antenna Flight, we could kill it, but it could switch out as well. I'm trying to think how we can deal with Cerebropod. Okay, Patchwork's really good. Now we Scapegoat. This guy is very confused why I've got a Grodo with that move. Hell yeah, Scapegoat. 
Yeah, this guy's getting stalled right now, even though I've got nothing that can damage you, really. A Rowette could actually do a lot here. Yeah, I'm just gonna spam Pirouette. <laughs> oh, it's got Blessed Blade, though. That's actually really bad. This guy knows my plan. He's gonna try and kill- We're gonna try and kill him with Vine Grasp. Oh, no. This guy knows my plan. I can do one more Pirouette here. I actually did quite a lot of damage to the, the bloody Abyssin. He's pretty impressive. Okay, I'm pretty sure his melee defense does affect my uh, antenna fights vine grasp, so that's unfortunate. We just go for the plant sap or do I go for wind shear here? I feel like wind shear does kill it. Somewhere a wind shear. Use rip current, which also almost killed me. And of course, wind shear does not even kill it. God damn it. I don't know how it does not kill it. My hibiscus is just dead. This is not a good strategy, I'm not gonna lie. Hibiscus could have been dead a long time ago. That's really unfortunate. This guy's thanking me for the sweep. I'm pretty sure I still kill it with Vine Grasp. And Ripper Current kills, so he's max 6 attack. And that's game. So, first game sucked balls, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna swap Rift Defense for a Morthra. And hopefully, we win the game. I'm in bronze, so hopefully, I get paired with a bronze person this time. My rank went down to 1012. But I'm determined to win, alright? Even though a third of my team is literal dog crap. And I did just realize I put two Awakenings on one team, but it's whatever. Okay, I can win this game. He's got uh, Gineco, looks pretty cool actually. He's got a Bunswell, a Clangatang. I feel like I can do good in this game. I'll go for a Morthra lead actually. I feel like this guy just recognized me. He's silver. I'm actually bronze. That's actually annoying. Go for Gineco first, which would be bad, but I can awaken so I can just avoid getting hit by a lot. Actually, I feel like it's Enchanted Sapphire though. So I'll play it safe. I'll go in Sinilisk here. I can't do anything to win Sinilisk. I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna risk the Psycho Force, but I'll just go into Sinilisk. That's a smarter play. Uh, a lot of things weak to fire, actually, so. I might just go for a Fireball, you know? It'll be worth it. Jadeko can't do anything to mine Sinilisk. Whoever switches it into will get hit hot hard. Okay, Clang Tank took a lot of damage there. Alright, a Shadow's gonna come out here. Or a Tri Elemental, which I doubt it. And you know what? I'll get a KO with bloody Groto here. If it's got Clumsy Swing, that's an L for my part. But I feel like I won't have it. Okay, Shadow did a lot to me. I think Pirouette can do a lot of damage. Now I am going to Awaken, so I take less damage from Shadow. This is actually huge. It could just bonk me though, but I think if I go Water type, I take less damage, which I do. Awakening was huge, and Pirouette kills it next turn as well. No way, he did not expect the Pirouette. I mean, Hydraulic Crash would have killed it instantly, but you know. I'm working with the, the bad moves here. Clang Tang down, that's huge actually. Groto actually getting a KO as well, that's, that's insane. I'm gonna go in Silisk here, so I feel like I'm gonna do much to me. Goes for a daze. Oh. That's okay. Crit as well, it's unfortunate. It's just gonna scissor guard, so I'll go for a smoke screen. <laughs> yeah, scissor guard comes out. I know boosting evasiveness is an, is an L move, but I'm just stalling out a turn here. I'm now doing fireball, because everything's weak to fire on their team except for Gineco and the Hatrix. So let's see how much damage this does. I do really want to get a uh, antenna flight a KO, so I'll try and get it against the Gineco. They go into Hatrix, and Fireball did so much damage. I still think it outspeeds and kills me with Cone of Cold though. But honestly, we don't really need Incinerous. I kind of want to win with Antenna Flying Grodo. So I'm just gonna attack. Hopefully, Espresso activates, and it does activate. No way. And we kill it, because Espresso has got a 1 in the 4 chance of making your doodle go first. It's like Quick Claw from Pokemon. But that's actually insane how I just killed it there. I should not be alive right now. Here comes the Grufflin. I do kill it if I just Fireball Espresso. They do awaken. I don't think my Espresso activated. They boost their Magical Defense. They go for a Nose Dive, which almost kills me. And a Fireball almost kills it. Okay. I'm fine with that, that's good damage from Incinilisk. You can pray Espresso activates, but I'm not sure if it will. The magical defense boost actually saved it there. That's sad. Now it's gonna switch into, I assume, Gineco, because it's hard to get into Gineco. Yeah, it goes into Gineco. Alright, Antenna Flight, your time is now. I know this thing's got Soul Fire, which will most likely kill you. But I do have Determination Jelly. So, if it does have Soul Fire, I do survive. Okay, it didn't even kill me. I assume it's Determination Jelly then? Yeah, it is. That sucks. 
Now there's no way we can kill it unless we switch into something else. The problem is almost everything's weak to soul fire except my Clangatang. So we go for a Clangatang here. Go for a Psycho Force. Okay. I can just go for a tri Elemental Slash and it hits everything. I'm getting one KO here. <laughs> Good luck to the opponent, you're getting screwed. I don't know why I have three things weak to fire. Well, I mean, I've got a few things weak to fire as well, but you know. They switch into uh, the sacking the Grufflin. That's smart, I guess. Well, now it's dead. GG, spicy. Okay, they're gonna switch it into, I assume, Seamstress or Bunswell here. Probably Seamstress with a daze. I don't think my antenna fight outspeeds anything else here. I'll just go for a Shatter. Shatter should do a lot of damage to it. Goes for a Boo. I'm not sure what Boo does, like how much damage it does. Took a lot of damage, actually. Seamstress down, it's only got two doodles left. This is gonna be our first W for me. I don't think Antenna Fly will get a KO in this battle. We just go for the Bonk here. Back the uh, Monkey, which it dies. Is there any way I can lower the opponent's speed? Because that'd be really good. I'll try and lower it with a Patchwork, if that works. I think my Grotto is dead, though. I live on one HP. This is actually perfect. Now my Antenna Fly can get a KO. No way. We'll go for patchwork again in case a bunstall comes in and it stays in. Because I outspeed now. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Okay, that's actually insane. Now my antenna fly can get a KO. Let's go. Groto and antenna flight getting a KO in a PvP battle. Here's my Dark Blast coming out. Let's freaking go. We got a KO with antenna flight. I am so happy right now. Like, no one uses these doodles, Groto and antenna flight, with the bloody code moves. This guy's name is subscribe. That's actually a perfect fitting for the end of the video. I assume it's because it's the content creator skin. And we'll go for a vine grasp here. We can't really do anything else. They actually outspeed me. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not under patchwork. That's done by me. Well, that's game. It can't kill me now. I've got enchanted sapphire. Go for a wind shear here. It actually outspeeds and I almost die. I feel like I should have died there. Alright, we're gonna depend on Morthod of the clutch. They actually left the server. They rage quit after I got left on 4 HP. GG's though. How much do I go up from that? 32. Oh wow, I'm actually back where I was before. Well, that was a great battle, wasn't it? I still could have lost that battle if I actually died there. But yeah, if you made it this far, subscribe and like. If this video gets 1000 likes, I will buy the plushie. We've only got a week left to do it, so make sure to like the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.